guys Jay here thanks for tuning in today got a cool video today I'm gonna show you how I restored this craftsman three and a half pound felling axe so let me set you guys up we'll zoom you in close and uh, tag along all right so this is what we're gonna be restoring this is a craftsman 3.2 pound American this is antique American felling axe as you can see it's got a nice clean I bought this on eBay nice clean cutting edge we're gonna reprofile that a couple nicks there but we can get those out with the uh, with the file and the stone but just kind of want to show the overall condition a little bit of pitting up here but that's nothing we can't uh, clean up so as you can see here let me show you craftsman uh, I bought this on eBay I wanted an auction it's in really good shape the things you want to look for when you're buying an axe you want to get vertical shots like this because if this thing was pounding metal wedges which they shouldn't be used for this head could be off a little bit it could be a little bit twisted if somebody grinded off the mushrooming here but there's a little bit of grind work here a uh, little bit of a mushroom here so I'm sure this you could see kind of the indentations I'm not sure what they were actually hammering with which is a shame you never ever ever pound metal wedges with a uh, felling axe use a maul or a sledgehammer but we're gonna go through this so hang around and uh, hope you guys enjoy so this axe is seven and three quarters long cutting edge is four and a half and the eye is two and a half I believe yeah two and a half eye so we're out here we left the bench uh, came out to my outdoor bench so if you don't have a vice outside you're doing something wrong you could beat bang grind cut do anything you want you don't have to worry about fumes or you worry about you know smoke in your shop so what we're gonna use to clean the axe head is a Makita GV 5000 with a 3m adhesive disc uh, these are auto body discs. They're designed to strip paint and varnish, but they don't really hurt metal a ton of guys on YouTube use angle angle grinders um, I think that's too aggressive wait till you see this. So let me set you up there on the tripod and uh, clamp the Clamp the axe head in and off we go So here's a before After stripping down this craftsman look at that patina half pitted at the top craftsman symbol still still in great shape I might I was gonna try to get it completely smooth again I'm not sure I think that would make a killer finish buffed I tried to clean up the back as flat as I can get it because this is going to be my wedge pounder. This is going to be my felling axe for when I'll be cutting trees. We're cutting over 100 trees in the spring, so I'm going to need something to pound wedges. I honestly might just leave it, finish it like this, put a smoking edge on it. I think that's what we're going to do. Now that we're in better light, this is what came of the craftsman axe. I tell you, look, it's clear down here. And it's got the patina there. I love it. It's cleaned up the back a little bit. It's got some impressions in. I'm not sure what they're hammering on, but a little nick there. It's got some character. It's going to look sweet on that handle. Okay. So just a rough dry fit. A 
Oh wow, that's almost, that's almost pretty good. Okay. Now let's. Uh, what we're gonna do is the conventional way. We're gonna flip the axe up. We're gonna tap on the butt, and we're gonna see if we can uh, work this head up. One trick I do: grab a pencil, put a pencil line here. Let's see if I can show you that better. Put a pencil line here, so when we flip it up, you'll know. Uh, you'll know if we're making any progress or not. Look at this beast. God, it's a man's axe. Okay. All right, so here's the eye of our axe. We opened it up a little bit. Um, you want to kind of just place your wedge next to it. Usually the wedges are a little bit fatter, which is what you want. So this one's just a tad bit fat for this eye. I don't know how well you can see. So we're going to actually just trim this down with a coping saw just a little bit. Like I said, there's a lot of beef here, so we're going to take some of that off. All right, so we trim this down a little bit. Let's uh, open this back up. Get that wedge in there now. We trimmed our wedge, so we should be able to start kind of. And another trick I do, uh, I just kind of thought of tilt you guys down here find the halfway point of your wedge so your wedge is about two and a half so um, two and a half so half of 2.5 is one and a quarter so let's just put a line at one and a quarter you usually want to use an, another piece of wood so you don't split your uh, Split your wedge. This is our halfway point number I drew with the pencil. You leave the wedge a little bit longer is because it'll fill this void on the axe head here. We're right about there. Wedge started to crack a little bit, which is okay. So we're going to cut this off with the coping saw, put a cross wedge in it. bad huh right I think that looks pretty good so let's set you guys up we're gonna put one cross wedge in this that second one went in a little it didn't really catch into the hickory kind of caught more or less in the poplar wedge but that's how you learn um, either way I don't think it's going anywhere. Let's rub some boiled linseed oil on this and then uh, we're almost done. All right, so this is the <clears throat> final product. Man, is she, she's a beauty. This thing's going to be a chopper for a long, 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 long time. Let's flip it around to the other side. All right. Appreciate you guys watching. Um, I'm not an expert. Uh, I'm not a professional axe restoration person. This is just how I did it. It works for me. So if you guys like what you see, please hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe. I think it came out pretty good. Um, my name's Jay. Please hit the thumbs up. Please like, please comment. Please let me know how you do your axes again. This isn't perfect. I'm not an axe master, but this works for me. I need something that'll chop and something that'll bang wedges in. So this will do the job. So thanks guys. And we'll uh, see you next time.